Hey guys, Lancy here. Hope everyone's doing well. Thanks again for joining me while we review some more reserve list cards. Please like and subscribe. It helps grow the channel. So let's get to it. So the first one is a great artwork. It's like Blue's Clues. Erati's Familio from Weatherlight. One colorless, one blue for a 2-2. Two -two. Summon Illusion, phasing. If Erati's Familiar leaves play, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Pay blue, Erati's Familiar cannot phase out until the beginning of your next upkeep. This doesn't feel too bad, actually. I mean, okay, now I think about it. When you're playing a deck that cares about graveyards, you probably have better cards than this that can also have a keyword or is a type. Do you actually care about, let's say, zombies or something? This is a repeatable... Whenever it enters or leaves the battlefield, put the top three cards in your library, and it has phasing. You can force it to not phase out, but every turn it's here, it pretty much mills the top two, three cards of your library. It's still one of the cheaper ways to mill, right? Without like putting any effort in. Uh, ru what's it? Rune crabs and the other one that's one mana. Like you still had to play a land. This can go on after a land. It is kind of limited in that it'll only affect your deck, and you can't control it because it. Uh, you can. You pay one blue. It's two dollars eighteen on TCG, and I actually like it, but I think it's a bit more expensive than I would want it to be at this point in time. It's unfortunate, but it has jumped a bit. Just a while back when it was 70 cents, might have been more interesting, but I did not pay attention to these. Hopefully you guys did. Uh, next card, Exalted Dragon. Wait, don't I have another one that's similar to this, but it does something separate? Four colorless, two white for a 5-5, five five. summon dragon. Flying, each turn Exalted Dragon cannot attack unless you sacrifice the land. I have that other one. I thought it was actually named very similar to this. Eternal Dragon, maybe? The one where you cycle it. Basic land cycling, and it can find you lands. I actually really like that one. I have it in a couple of decks, but I don't think it's a really expensive card. This one, on the other hand, peaked and then came back. It peaked so fast that the average did not even... The market did not even have time to keep track of it. I assume that might just be sales of near mint or lightly played copies on eBay and stuff. On TCG, it is almost $10 from Exodus, so that might be something there. But you guys can let me know if this is actually a very impressive card. I think for a five, 6 mana for a 5-5 five, five flying in this time period was pretty good. Sacrificing a land is not as detrimental, but in white, you don't really have many ways to play around with that. So um, something to think about. Next card, Eye of Singularity from Visions. Three colorless, one white. World Enchantment. When Eye of Singularity enters the battlefield, destroy each permanent with the same name Another permanent, as another permanent except for basic lands. They cannot be regenerated. Whenever a permanent other than basic land enters the battlefield, destroy all other permanents with that name. They cannot be re re regenerated. Uh, I guess this is one of the best ways to stop a token deck. A uh, commander is one of those formats where every single card has to be different, so it's almost impossible for you to get someone's deck to play the same named non-land permanent card without it being some kind of a token or a clone. This might be okay if you think one of your friends is playing a very annoying token deck. But outside of that, and token decks aren't usually that annoying because board sweepers are such a big thing. So you can annoy that one guy, but I don't think he's actually the biggest problem. Outside of that, I don't think this is actually really that good. Next card. Farm Steed. Three white for enchant land. Target lands controller gains one life. If two white is spent during controller's upkeep, you cannot gain more than one life. Oh, sorry. Target lands controller gains one life. If two white is spent during controller's upkeep, you cannot gain more than one life each... Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for this new wording, this terrible wording card. Enchant Aura. Enchanted land has at the beginning of your upkeep, you may pay two. If you do, you gain one life. Terrible. Five mana to gain one life each turn. 
I feel like an old man thinking about these kinds of cards, but I just can't see any value in a card like this. Next. Flooded Shorelines from Vision. Enchantment. Pay two blue, return two islands you control to their owner's hand, return target creature to its owner's hand. Um, isn't this really good? In a Lands Matters deck? It, it's peaked twice and it seems to have peaked a while back maybe it was in preparation for zendikar because i actually think that landfall would like a card like this and more importantly it's got a good effect returning target creature to its owner's hand at instant speed for you to get more benefits from your own lands hmm. i don't know i actually like this card three dollars 36 on tcg don't know what the long-term worth of it is but i think it's a good card Next, Gilding, Guiding, sorry, Guiding Spirit from Visions. One colorless, one blue, one white, and Summon Angel. Ooh, one, two, Angel. Flying. Tap. If the top card of target player's graveyard is a creature card, put that card on top of that player's library. I like this card. I like this card a lot. I think for three mana for a one, two, Angel is something I didn't even know that existed. And on top of that, other than the fact that its colors are not exactly the angel colors that we have nowadays of red white and black outside of that but it's got graveyard re graveyard recursion to your hand and value long-term value but if you're playing any deck that has even a slight amount of creatures in it the fact that this can get you back those creatures without you paying too much you're not paying anything for this you just keep tapping it i think it's good i like this card I like this card a lot. It's a dollar on TCG, so not to show. Don't please don't spike it, guys. I've given up a lot on any of these cards because I'm way too slow at this. Next card: Hand of Justice, Fallen Empires, five colorless, one white. Summon Avatar. Tap, tap three untapped white creatures you control. Destroy target creature. For a five six mana for a two six. I actually like this card. I think this card is good. Um, there are cheaper cards than this. I like it because white allows you to make a lot of tokens. And more importantly, destroying target creatures is something that white doesn't do very well. So if you find something equivalent in black, it's not exactly the same value as it is in white. It's a bit hard to do in white. It's $1.74 on TCG. I think it's okay. I think it's pretty good, actually. Heart of Yavi, Yavi Maya. Uh, land. If Heart of Yavi Maya, Maya enters the battlefield, sacrifice a forest instead. If you do put a Heart of Yavi Maya onto the battlefield, if you do put, put the Heart onto the battlefield, if you don't put it into its owner's graveyard, tap, add green, tap, add cre uh, target creature gets plus one, plus one until the end of turn. Mm. For the benefit of giving a creature plus one, plus one, I don't think it's worth it to sacrifice a land and not do anything to turn and also lose a card from your hand. It feels like a pretty painful way to get that plus one, plus one. It's a dollar ten on TCG, but I feel like it's actually more detrimental than, than it is beneficial for a commander game. Next. Carvex Spite from Vision. Three black. Instant. Sacrifice all permanents. Discard your hand. Target player loses five life. Not enough. I mean, I don't even have to think about that. That sounds terrible. Five life in Commander is not nothing. You can do it out of spite. Just before you lose the game, you just throw this out there, but you need three black mana. If it was one black mana, it would have at least been hilarious. Could have done it more often. Oh, God. I love that thing. It's just trying to stab into a... Um, what do you call those dolls? Uh, $2.35 on TCG. Maybe there's something going there. Or maybe it's just the fact that it's from Visions. And last card for today, guys. Krovikan's Krovikan Horror. Three colorless, one black for a 2-2 two, two horror. At the beginning of your end step, or at the beginning of the end step, if Krovikan Horror is in your graveyard with a creature card directly above it, you may return the horror to your hand. Pay one, sacrifice a creature. Horror deals one damage to target creature or player. I like this card. I like this card a lot, actually. It's a repeatable sacrifice outlet, which actually allows you to sacrifice a creature for damage to a player. That's 
pretty good. Normally, these kinds of things just say deal damage to target creature. Or deal damage to any any target, which is good too. I feel like this is a good card because you can always bring it back as well. You sacrificing creature. In a, in a, in a sacrifice-heavy deck, there's a very high chance that you'll be able to bring this card back consistently. And you don't have to pay anything for it. You just have to do a check. And you can do it at the end of your turn. At the beginning of the end step. Which means if anything, any shenanigans happen in between, then you still get it back at the beginning of your end step. I like this card a lot. I think it's good. Oh, okay, I see. The reason why it's in the beginning of the end step is because if someone destroyed on their turn, then that means that you won't have it for three turns and your turn. Then you can bring it back. Okay, it's a bit slower than I think, but I think it's still a good card, guys. But you guys can let me know. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoy this series while I try to figure out exactly what other stuff I can talk about. Thanks again and have a good one. See you guys.